Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Love it Hi family, it's Lisa and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you this beautiful home. This is the Tundra. It's a four bedroom, two bath uh, home. Sorry, the way these houses are set up, it's sometimes hard to really get a good view. I'm gonna walk around here a little and let you see what the house looks like from the back. So this is the back of the house, here. We'll, we'll walk all the way around. This is a Tundra, four bedroom, two bath. Wanted to show you all the windows in the home. I have a subscriber who recently got into viewing these homes himself and I'm learning a lot from him. Uh, I posted his information below and asked you guys to subscribe. I'm, I'm going to have his information on the screen here. Um, he's an awesome reviewer of these mobile homes. Diva Divine and I'm learning a lot so sweetie if you see some of your moves in this video I'm stealing them <laughs> all right so that's the front kind of hard for you to hear so let's go in and take a look family before we continue this video I just want to give a short disclaimer I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes I view. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications for this home, all the information that I have for the manufacturer and the dealer will be listed in the description box below. Now let's get back to this video. Okay. Beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful, you guys. This is the Tundra. So I'm going to walk into the kitchen and give you a view of this big, beautiful living room. This is a living room. Beautifully decorated. I love it. This is really nice. I love the light coastal colors uh, in this home. I love the way they have it decorated. Definitely would give me ideas of how, if this was my home, I would decorate it. I love the size of this living room. This picture on the wall is beautiful. I wish you could see it and touch it. Like, this is beautiful, guys. This is like, see my fingers going through the grooves? See that? It's like a rose sitting on the wall. It's beautiful. Love it. So anyway, this is your entryway. Space for a bench. I would actually put a bench here in lieu of a table. I think with the coastal feel of this house, a bench would be super cute there with some pretty pillows. And then you've got carpet in this living room. You've got that big three nice windows there bringing in lots of light this home has a ceiling fan love it love it love it love it okay now give you a pan of the kitchen i'm gonna walk over here and see if there are lights in this one they haven't completed putting it together so no no lights in this one sorry about that beautiful look at this table like 
I love how they decorated this home. Okay, so here's the dining room. You've got, sorry about the lighting, you guys. You've got Oh, this is actual wood. All right, you got shiplap on this wall and you've got finished drywall on this wall. Really nice. This house is, ha, has finished drywall. That table is a really nice size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people can sit at that table. So that's how much space you got. You got space to put a buffet over there if you like. You've got your uh, farmhouse uh, chandelier above. You can always switch that out if you're not the farmhouse type of girl or guy. You can always not get this house with shiplap if that's not what you care for. Um, that's totally up to you. But look at the space in this dining room. So you got good space. Sorry about the lighting. Now. It overlooks, or the kitchen overlooks the dining room. I love that the island is turned this way. Um, so you can entertain in here and be in conversation with the people in the dining room, the people in the living room. Someone can sit at the island while you're cooking. Um, the island has outlets in it. I love the contrast of the dark uh, gray uh countertops on the exterior and this light wood like uh butcher block type island uh, you got outlets in that island love the fact that the sink is not in the island it's over here by the window so you have lots of space i love that you can put decor in those cute little cubby holes above the cabinets. I love that it has this antique white cabinets in here. It lightens up this dark countertop. Love the faucet. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Got You've got drawer and cabinet space. You've got a built-in microwave in this one. And you've got your ceramic cooktop. Okay? You also have storage here in the island and then you have the side-by-side -side refrigerator over here so let me give you another overview of this kitchen really nice and you could also upgrade this to stainless steel if that's what you prefer you don't have to take the black but this is a i love the black You've got a walk-in pantry. You've got shelving on that side. You've got space to either put some things or more shelving on this side. And it's a walk-in pantry. So you've got lots of space in here. Really nice. Those are some wide shelves. So look at all the space that you got. And then I would put another shelf here, another shelf there. Not uh, symmetric with it but in between those two and then one down there and that would give you more space and it's a light in there these lights just aren't connected again if farmhouse isn't your thing you could just have a plain door here for the pantry you don't have to have that door you could purchase this house as is if it's cheaper and then put your own door up there so really nice you've got the uh pendant lighting not pendant. What are those lights in the ceilings? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You see them, you got those lights up there. <laughs> Can't think of the name of it. Pendant lights are the lights that hang down. But you've got those lights up there in the ceiling. I can't think of the name of them. Somebody will tell me in the comment section. And then back to the uh, front door to the right of the front door, you have this hallway that leads to the guest bedroom. So let's go take a look at what we have down this bedroom. So let's always start to the left. The first door to the left is a guest bedroom. Nice size guest bedroom. 
nice size finished drywall a lot of times the houses i have the finished drywall in the front of the house and in the bedrooms they have the seams but this house has the finished drywall throughout you have a standard closet here really nice really nice i love the size of this bedroom and I'll go back out and let you see the size of this bedroom one more time. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. And then next to guest bedroom number one, you have guest bedroom number two, another nice size guest bedroom, really nice. Standard closet. Really nice. So love the size of this bedroom, these bedrooms. All right, so two bedrooms on the left side. At the end of the hallway here, you have the utility room. Looks like it's gonna be a huge one, you guys. You got space right here for a deep freezer or a desk or whatever you like. Your back door is there. You have a sink next to the back, back door, deep sink, deep rectangular sink, and then behind the sink is space for a washer and dryer. Now, me personally, if I ordered this house, if I was ordering this house, I would get this house without that wire shelving. Uh, because of the upgrades that I see in here, I would have cabinets, the white cabinets, put above the washer and dryer if I was ordering this house. I would take it as is, if not, and just update it later. But um, I think if I was ordering this house, I would order it with the cabinets. So your washer and dryer go there, across from the sink. And again, you have space in here for whatever you need this to be. It could be a mudroom area with a bench and hooks. It could be a uh, washer and dryer, I'm um, excuse me, a deep freezer. It could be a desk and a computer, whatever you deem it necessary. All right, so coming out of the laundry room, now we're gonna start on this side. Your guest bathroom is here. It has two sinks, which is convenient because you got three bedrooms down on this end. So the kids could be getting ready all at the same time. One at each sink and one in the shower. You got the transom window above the shower. Really nice. And this is a dark gray in here, which is different from the rest of the house. I like that it's a different color. Super cute. All right, huge mirror above the sinks. Nice size bathroom. And then next to the bathroom and across from guest bedroom number one, you have the third and final guest bedroom. It seems to be a tad bit smaller then um the first two but this it's okay because the baby gets this one right the baby gets the small one so this is the smaller guest bedroom and it, uh, this also has the standard closet okay this could be an office it doesn't have to be a bedroom if you got the fourth bedroom to have office space this would be a perfect office really nice so let's go back down this bedroom and take a look go back down this hallway and take a look at the master now again we're in the living room give me an idea where we are so you're sitting on the couch this is what you see from the couch you have your dining room kitchen there you have your front door and guest bedrooms to the right and then to the left you have your master so let's go see what this master is saying. All right, nice size master, really nice size master. You got two windows in here. Nice size master, okay. As we come on into the master, you've got your master bedroom there. But let's turn around and take a, one more look at the master bedroom right off the living room and then your master bath is here 
So to the left, you have your two sinks. It has cabinets and drawers. There's some more of that shiplap with two built-in mirrors. And the light fixtures aren't up, but you have three light fixtures, three light bulbs above each sink. Can you see that? It's going to have three light bulbs above each sink. So lots of lighting in here. Okay. Then across, uh, right here, you have the master bath tub. You have a deep soaker tub. You have a window and it actually has blinds up to that window. Tub is deep. You've got space here for whatever you need. Y'all know I love a good shelf or a leaning ladder in the master bath. And then love, love, love the glass on the shower. This door actually just opens. You've got a bench in here. You've got marble and tile in here. And then you've got the rain shower shower head. Really nice. Super nice. I love this door. Now this is what I like. Eventually we may change it out because the sliding glass is a little shaky to me. And I love the sturdiness of that. Love the look of it. Now you have, and it's dark, you probably won't be able to see, but this is a toilet room and it has a door. Wish it had a window. One thing I wanted to say about this area here, you could do a lot. You could put shelving over here or you could put mirrors. I personally would put a mirror on one side and shelving on the other so I can put towels and things. And then back here, you have the master closet, which has a transom window. And this is a big closet. All right, master closet. Lots of space in this master closet. This is huge, you guys. I'm on one wall of the master closet, right? That's my feet. And this is all of the space that you have in here. So this master closet is huge, really nice. And then you've got your transom window up there. So you got this huge master closet. I wish the lights were on, but this is nice. This is a nice master bath. I love this master bath. All right, so again, this is a four bedroom to bath. The name of this home is the Tundra. It's at Wayne Fryer Homes uh, in Byron, Georgia, right outside of Macon. They don't post prices. So if you're interested, the manufacturer and the dealer information will be down in the description box, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. Have a good day. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get.
get up and start from the ground. 